up YouTube. This is Sniper One coming at you today with a video on recommended MOBE class setups. Now, before I do anything, in my setup I have, I don't know if anybody has, and any other video on YouTube has the same class setup, but anyways, I use, I use these setups to help me and, um, they work for me, but, yeah, what I first want to go off with you today is the MP7. Now, the reason I use range with and rapid fire with MP7 is because MP7 don't have the best aimer on it, the aimer sight. See, like, the ACR, the ACR has a pinpoint aimer sight on it, so, but the MP7 ain't great on it. So that's why I have range and rapid fire suggested for it because it it just obliterates enemies easy. But yeah, and um for my secondary I carry around an MP9 with silencer. Why? Because I know in the Scorpion it says it has more damage, but it's just they don't feel right when you have it, so, you know, because you always want to have a good secondary. Some people use akimbos and stuff, but I recommend this is because it's just like basically the MP7, and it's fast and lethal. What I like to use is a Simtex, because Simtex is more reliable and than a regular grenade, because you can stick people easily, or it can get targets that you want, and it'll stay on there. Because regular grenades just gonna hit off somewhere and that roll around, but you know. And I use a flash grenade, flash grenade because it easily dis disorientates enemies, and you have a more reliable kill shot on them. And with the MP7, you need sleight of hand pro because see the MP MP7 is I know it has a little small clip and it's not a big of a gun, but if you want to get a Moog, you really, really want that because you can get through enemies easier and quicker, and it's more reliable for that gun. That's in pro because. You know, when you get when you're going for a Moab, sorry about calling it a Moab. I know some people call it that, and, but anyways, you don't want to be having your name sitting or light up on the map because people's gonna easily spot you, and when you're t you have no, you know, it's just your you're just a walking person without no name basically. And that's what you kind of want to keep. But, yeah, that's just a suggested for me. But, um, Steady Aim Pro. Steady Aim Pro is because the MP7, like I said, the aimer sight on it isn't great. It's great for close range, but, see me? That's why I have range on it, because I get a lot of good long range kill shots with it. But, yeah. But you want the Steady Aim Pro because, you know, when you're running around and trying to get that Moab, because you don't want to camp, there's, you know, you just easily die and ruin it. But with Steady Aim Pro, you know, if you're running around and you're trying to get kills easier, and, or if you're jumping off of something, you just need Steady Aim Pro because you're right there getting the kill. And, you know, this is basically good for it, so... And, let's see, for our strike package, let's see here, we got Hardline Pro, Scavenger Pro, and Quick Draw Pro. Why you want the Hardline Pro is because when you're going for the Moab, you really don't want to have that extra kill, you know, you have to hang on to, because there's always something to come up. But... Yeah, for that, you know, 
it just you get a quicker mode but like a kill short but it um and you get your perks easier and faster and what I all recommend viewers for getting a mode don't use no helicopters don't use none of that always run with a specialist package unless you're in domination or something and you know you're really good but like I said it'll ruin your kill streak but scavenger pro um it's a submachine gun of course uh to me one of the best game guns in the game and it really runs out of ammo fast so when you get your victims go up to them you know get get their pack you're good with ammo supply pool and um I get quick draw quick draw because when you have steady aim pro and you're ready like it says your weapons faster after spraying or something you're easily there boom they're you just they're dead and basically it just helps you to get a lot of fast shots because a lot of people carry it around you know and P, you know it's what you always want if you're going for mo out of shredding people it's what I suggest and for my death streak I use final stand I don't care what anybody says final stand can be gay to you or cheap tactic but I don't care final stand you know if you all of a sudden you're on a good kill streak and you're down you know you could get that lucky kill then hide get back up you know you don't, you want to do anything that helps you get the mode or moab anything that's good was reliable basically um beast class setup number two um what I would recommend is the P90 P90 because it's a very reliable weapon not all the time because the it's just the sight on it is just really bad but anyways I use two attachments rapid fire and silencer silencer because you want to stay off the grid I forgot to mention that on my MP7, but when you have a silencer, um, it just gets you off the grid where it don't ruin your hiding spot or whatever you like to call it or wherever you're at. So a lot of people have portable radars and stuff, you know, but you want to have assassin and stuff because, like I said, this goes along with this. These perks right here go along with the same thing as the MP7. They're real reliable perks because some machine guns you really do need these perks because it's just they ain't got the they're not good on ammo and you know they're they're just kind of bad weapons sometimes if you don't really know how to use one but I don't know it works for me XM25 XM25 I use if basically I see campers or anything, you know, it's something fun to do, but it's a good weapon to have too for a long range. Because when you zoom on it, you zoom in on it, it's just like it's pinpoint, it's good. And because the P90 ain't good on range, um, even though if you had range to me, it wouldn't really help because the aimer side on it, you need stability. Stability is a waste of time with it. You want to stay off the grid in rapid fire, you get more shots and it just hurts them better. But XM25, that's your like your sniper rifle, but a deadly sniper rifle because you want to be quick with it. In case somebody comes up, you just boom, 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 you're dead. But um, with this Claymore, I suggest because a P90 is a hit and run because I mean grenade. Grenade's pretty good with it, but it's not always good with it, so. And concussion. Concussion because it really slows down the enemy and, you know, easily you can get them. But, um, like I said, the, the perks right here I have set up on it goes the same way with the other one, so. Yeah. But, um, for this, I'm sorry, um, I didn't obviously remember, um, not changing my specialist package but um 
Yeah. But basically, you want to have like the same thing. But, um, let me see here. Um, for the MP7, I got this again. This one was a recommended one off a of, um, person I met because it really did work for them. It worked for me after a while, but it wasn't always the greatest thing to have when you're getting a Moab. But, um, yeah, it's just, because I play free for all a lot, so, you know, or team deathmatch or domination. But, for this, um, about the PP90 or P90, that's a good thing to have, because, um, it really does work for you. I mean, it's just, you, the MP7's a hit and run, again, like, this is P90, it's just a really good detailed weapon, and, um, MP9, MP9's, you know, like I said in the first one, it's a reliable weapon, you want it. Semtex, like the first one, more reliable, it's where you want your, if you want your target, there you go. Portable radar, portable radar, it's good if you have to camp, if you're hurt for a second, you know where the enemy's at, you can crouch, whatever you want to do, plan. But, yeah, that's basically what you want to do, and, um, scavenger, scavenger is, um, what you want, because, like I said, you running out of ammo, you need it if you want to get a mob from Moab. Um, Assassin Pro, yeah, same thing. Uh, Dead Silence Pro. Now, here's my thing about Dead Silence Pro. If people have turtle beaches, and, you know, all that, so, but, they can hear you better. People, I know that says no falling damage, but it also does have that where you don't, I notice a change in when I have my footsteps, it don't really, I can't really hear them that well, rather than not having it, but, <coughs> sorry about that, but, um, yeah, and for my specialist package, I have sleight of hand, sit rep, sit rep bro, because you really do want to, um, hear your enemies, because wherever they're at, you know, it's a good thing to have, but, and, um, what's this one right here? Study Aim Pro, yeah, that's a pretty good thing to have, too, like I said, because, um, when you're going for the long range, you kind of do want that, if you got the good extra kill, but, yeah, um, the PP90, um, it's a very nice weapon. Just like the P90, the aimer sight on it isn't reliable at all. Because, it's just, it, like I said, like the P90, it needs stability. Because, it ain't that good of a reliable weapon. Because, it's just, it don't have that feel to it, and um, where you get that good long range kill. But um, yeah, you need rapid fire and silencer definitely, because if you don't have that, you might as well not use the gun, unless you're very good with it and you can do whatever. In MP9 is my secondary. Uh, I have a Akimbo. Akimbo. With that, it's pretty good. It's just, like depending on what map. Cause I use mine for each like a different map type. <coughs> yeah, and um, so I got a cold a little bit, and my throat itchy, but anyways, yeah, I got Sintex and Flash Grenade. Like uh, it goes along with the other ones. It's just a little reliable set right there. It's a good pair. And um. But like the Akimbo though, um, yeah, it's just very good reliable weapons. And um, they help you, but until you get to your um, scavenger, because you get that pack, you know you're good till then. But it's really your last resort, that's what you want. Um, yep, slide of hand pro, because when you're reloading with the PP90, it actually is kind of slow. And... What you want to do 